Hi, boys and girls. Thank you for tuning in. I have a story for you today. Before I tell you the story, I have to apologize to you because if you looked for a video last week, you didn't find one, did you? Yeah, we had some technical problems and so we weren't able to get that done. And I'm sorry. I hate, hated to not have a story for you. But we have a story for you now. So I hope that you can, uh, you can really learn well from it and enjoy this story like I did when I learned it. Okay, the title of this story, as you might have seen before you saw my face, was uh, Thou Shalt Not Steal. You know, that's one of the, the Ten Commandments, right? So uh, that's found in Exodus 20, verse 19. You shall not steal, it says. That's one thing God doesn't want us to do. But the question today, as we introduce our story, is, is it sin if you didn't know? If you didn't know, is it sin? If you didn't know, you did something wrong. Well, here's the story I have for you. It's about four young people. Three of them are girls, one of them is a little boy and you should have seen their picture on the front uh, of this video too and this is about susan and janie and heather and the little boy's name is timmy and timmy is susan's little brother okay now you have it all figured out let me tell you the story well they loved the three girls loved to go to the mall they love to go to the mall. You know what the mall is? That's a big building that has a bunch of stores in it and it's covered so that in the summer when it's really hot outside, they can keep it nice and cool inside. And in the winter when there's snow and rain, they're sheltered from the rain and you can go there and shop and hang out. And, and a lot of malls have food courts. It's an area where you can buy fast food at places and they have tables and you can sit around. And it's a lot of fun for kids to go to sometimes and just to hang out and, and look at things. Well, these girls, Susan and Janie and Heather, just love to go to the mall together. And if they had a little bit of money to spend, all the better. It was extra fun, right? But they didn't actually have to have money to enjoy being at the mall. They just love to look at things and, and get some treats at the food court and even meet friends from school or from church. Uh, uh, and just be kids for a while at, at the mall. Well, Susan's mother felt very sure that the mall was safe for the girls because the girls always stayed together and, uh, and they had already demonstrated that they had good common sense and they were, they were sensible about what they would do at the mall and who they would hang around with and what they, where they would go. And several members of the church actually worked at the mall and in the food court and they would keep watch over the girls. They'd keep an eye out for them uh, whenever the girls were there, even though the girls didn't even know that. So Susan's mother was pretty comfortable with having the girls be alone together at the mall from time to time. Well, this was the summertime and this certain summer day that our story tells us about was like all the other ones as Susan waited for Janie and Heather to show up at her house for mom to drive them all to the, to the mall. And she fussed while she was waiting. She was fussing with her makeup. She was just getting old enough where mom would let her mess around a little bit with a little bit of makeup. And she was fussing with that. And then she was messing with her hair and getting her hairdo, one hairdo or another, thinking, what will I look like today? And, uh, and she wondered if the uh, kids at school would re how they would react if she actually colored her hair a little bit. She'd have to get mom's permission. But anyway, she was thinking of those things. Well, finally, Jamie and Heather showed up and they got there and everybody else in the house scattered out of the way as the girls came into the in through the front door because when the girls got together there was giggling and a lot of a lot of gossip and they just talked about how cute they all looked in their outfits you know how girls are well i don't know exactly but that's what i imagine and they just loved being together and they were just such happy young ladies and then out of the blue Susan called up the stairs. Mom, are you ready to go? We're ready to go. Janie and Heather are here. Just a minute, honey. Susan's mom yelled down uh, and finally she came down all ready to go. But she had Susan's little brother, Timmy, tagging along with her. Susan 
Be a dear and let Timmy tag along with you girls today, would you? Mrs. Henderson next door is sick and she can't go, and, and so he can't go over there to her house because she's sick, and, and I have to be somewhere while you're at the, at the mall. Can he please stay with you, okay? At first, Susan kind of pouted about that. And she made a fuss because she was afraid that Timmy would, would be a bothered and he'd kind of be a distraction and would mess up all of their fun together as girls. But Jamie, Janie whispered to her friend, Susan, let him come. We love Timmy. He is so funny and cute and, and we'll help you watch him so he doesn't wander off. Yeah, Susan, Heather chimed in. Uh, you know all the kids love Timmy. And when he comes and sits in on Sabbath school when your dad teaches and brings him along with him. So he'd be great. Why don't you let him come? So Susan agreed and, and they all had a, a big time tickling Timmy in the car, getting him to laugh and making him everybody's cute little brother, not just Susan's. Well, at the mall, the four of these young people had a wonderful time together. And instead of being a bother, Timmy learned how to make his sister and her friends laugh with his silly faces he'd make, or, or he'd say something fun about, he'd be making fun about the clothes that some of the people at the mall were wearing. He would just make up things and they just thought it was so fun. He's so funny, Susan. We just love him, Heather said, once she was laughing so hard that she almost fell down. Well, the afternoon passed quickly, and before they knew it, Mom had picked them up, and she was uh, taking them. They were on their way back to Susan's house for a sleepover. The girls were going to have a sleepover at Susan's house, and the girls got busy once they were there getting Susan's room all ready for a night of watching chick flicks and you know movies that girls like to watch and doing all the all the fun things that a sleepover just had to have as part of them there was plenty of popcorn and uh let's see what else there was uh ice cream and a little bit of makeup and they would kind of do each other with makeup and and mess with each other's hair and uh, and then they were spending a lot of time trying to decide which movies they actually wanted to watch and suddenly in the middle of all of that the air was filled with loud sobbing some crying that was coming from down the hall and it was sudden it just kind of suddenly came up Susan, she heard her sweet little brother cry out from his room down the hall. All three girls ran in. There on his bed sat Timmy, cross-legged, and on his blanket he had spread out some of the little, little toys that he had bought at the mall that day. Uh, but he was holding up this big candy bar in his hands and he was just sobbing. And Susan, she loved Timmy tons and, and she didn't want him to cry. And so she sat on the bed and held him close to her, you know, and the others, Heather and Janie, they patted him and they comforted him as best they could. They didn't know what was wrong. What is it, Timmy? Did someone hurt you? Susan gently asked him as she calmed him down enough to talk. No, look! And he opened his hands, uh, his hand which wrapped around a very large candy bar. You probably saw the picture of it in the front of this uh, video. I don't think I paid for this, Susan. I know I had it in my hand at the candy booth in the food court, but Heather called me over to look at those movie posters. You remember that? And I just ran to her with it in my hand, and I guess I put it in my bag without thinking. I stole it, Susan. He sobbed and he sobbed. God's going to hate me, won't he? I did a terrible sin. Janie said, Susan, remember the Sabbath school lesson last week on thou shalt not steal? And at the end of the lesson, all of us, including Timmy, who was there, promised God we would never steal. What's going to happen, Susan? Well, Janie was near tears with the idea of Timmy being in so much trouble with God. Will Timmy not get to go to heaven for stealing now? I don't know, Susan said nearing tears herself and holding Timmy really close to her. And all the kids were about to break down in tears when Heather finally said, wait, let's ask your mom. 
So she ran to the doorway and she ran out down the hall, into the hall, and she called down to Susan's mom, who was down the stairs, Mrs. Morris, please come help. Mrs. Morris, come help. So her voice was so full of panic that Susan's mom came rushing up the stairs, expecting to find someone bleeding or something, you know? Well, she found the girls and Timmy sobbing in Timmy's room. Timmy, Susan, what's wrong? She said, are you sick? And you know, she said that while touching their, each of their heads, like to take their temperature. You know how moms do that. Well, Susan cried, no, it's worse than being sick. I think Timmy is doomed. See, when we went to the mall and then they all started uh, chipping in and between all four of them, they told the story. And when Mrs. Morris finally figured out what the problem was, suddenly she just laughed out loud <laughs> like, like she had just heard the funniest joke ever. And Susan objected. Why are you laughing, Mom? I don't want Timmy to not go to heaven. Mom held Timmy's hand and she said, kids, listen to me. Timmy, did you intend to steal the candy bar? Heather and Janie sat cross-legged on the floor listening, uh, trying to figure out what she was asking. No, Mommy, I didn't even know I did it. Is that sin, Mommy? Is it sin if you didn't know? He asked, uh, and he was desperate to know if he was in bad trouble with God. So Mom spoke, and she said, kids, Remember our Sabbath school lesson about sin? Remember what sin is? I remember Mrs. Norris, said Janie. Uh, sin is anything that keeps us away from loving God. Anything that keeps us from loving God. That's what sin is, right? That's right, Janie. Timmy, sin is something that comes out of your heart when it wants to rebel against God, when it wants to turn away from God. It is something you decide to do when you know you shouldn't do it. If you had found that candy in your bag and not cried and not told anyone and kept it and ate it, well, knowing that you had not paid for it, then you would have stolen it and it would be sin. You would be in sin, she said. Then I'm not doomed, Mommy, Timmy said, trying to feel relieved. You are sensitive to what God wants, Timmy. Girls, you are too. That's why you all cried so much. That's good. It hurts your heart to think of someone you love not going to heaven. That's how God feels. And that is why Jesus came and died for our sins. Let's pray that God will take all of our sins out of our hearts. And they all bowed their heads and they prayed. And when they looked up, instead of tears, there were pretty smiles that were growing on their faces, on every one of their faces. But what about that candy bar, Mom? Susan wanted to know. Tell you what, Timmy, let's let the girls uh, uh, get, get their sleepover going. And you and I will run over to the mall and we'll tell the man what happened and you can pay for that candy bar with your allowance uh, money and everything will be right again. Will it really, Mommy? Timmy said with excitement. Will it make it like I never did a, the bad thing? It'll be better than that, Mommy said, because the man will know that you're an honest boy and you can be trusted and he'll trust you even more the next time he sees you. Better than that, why don't, while, while we're there, why don't we get a whole bunch of candy bars for all of us and we can join the party when we get back, okay? Hooray! All the kids jumped up and they danced around hugging and kissing Mrs. Morris for being so wise. <laughs> you know, uh, and that's the story, but I found a Bible passage that sounds very much like the lesson they learned. It's in the Old Testament, in the book of Leviticus, chapter 6, verses 1 through 5. And this is what it says. Listen to this. It says, The Lord said to Moses, A person might sin against the Lord by doing one of these sins. Then he gave him a list. He said, 
He might lie about what happened to something he was taking, he was taking care of for someone else. Or he might lie about a promise he made. Or he might steal something or cheat someone. He might find something that had been lost and then lie about it. He might make a promise before the Lord about something and not mean it. Or he might do some other sin. If he does any of these things, he is guilty of sin. He must bring back whatever he stole. Or he must bring back what he took by cheating. Or he must bring back the thing he took care of for someone else. Or he must bring back what he found and lied about. Or he must bring back what he made a false promise about. He must pay the full price. And that's what Timmy was going to do by bringing back that candy bar and paying for it. That was a good thing for him to do, wasn't it? Well, it's a very important lesson for us to learn about being careful to honor God in making right choices and not cheating and not stealing and not lying and all of those commandments, right? But but sometimes things happen and we wonder if we really did sin against God. God said, if you did it from your heart on purpose, then it's a sin and you need to make it right. But Jesus wants to forgive us. That's why he paid for our sins on the cross. And he wants to make everything right, just like they were able to make right at the end of our story, right? So God loves us. He's not trying to punish us. He's not trying to keep us out of heaven. He's trying to get us into heaven, isn't he? Okay, that's our lesson for today. Why don't we have a short word of prayer? Lord, thank you for reminding us of how deeply you love us and, of course, how much you want us to obey you for our own good and for the good of those around us. Help us to honor you in our lives, but help us not to forget that you love us and you are for us and not against us. Thank you, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you guys for joining me today. Have a great rest of the Sabbath and a great week to come, and I'll see you next week.